today is building on Tuesday's training session. Okay, Tuesday's training session was more pattern. Today is going to be with opposition and working on how our wingers or wide forwards move into midfield spaces to get the ball, and then we can go forward. Okay, so we're going to work on our two midfielders bringing the ball out of the back from our three backs, but then also how all our forwards work together. So in the first exercise, what we look to do is we use two zones that were 24 by 30 wide um, at, at each end, and we had 3v2 in each of those zones. So the three backs would start against two, two defenders, then we had three defending midfield players, which our two midfielders would stand in behind. And so now our three backs had to look to play through those five players into the midfielders. The midfielders combine and get the ball to the three forwards. Good. Yes. Underneath them. Well done. Yep. Seeming that a way to open up. Well done. Then we progress that a little bit more. So now we add a little bit more movement. So now one midfielder could drop in and make it 4v2 so that he could now get on the ball turn, find the other midfielder, and, and go out. Now those two have to interact. Who's going to drop? Who's going to stay high? And then how do they move off of each other? Corco, can you see the ball? Yes. Can I come in or no? Nope. Good. Make these two guys run. Make them run. Make them run. It's all right. And hold. And hold. And hold. So the ball's there. These two are sitting central. Luke, I want you to create as much space as possible. There you go. DK's here, stretching them back. Now Siemens here. As the ball goes to DK, yep. If they hold right there, what can DK do? Huh? He can drive. So if DK starts driving, Luke, what are we going to do? Huh? Drop inside? Okay. To provide what? Okay. So if we start to drop, Coloco, what can you guys do? Okay. Pop open. Move into. So one of you can move into that space that we vacate, right? Where's who's underneath him? That's all right, good. So now if they drop back here, what can who can fill this void now? If they drop all the way deep, who can fill this void now? Good. Yep, now forward if we can. That's all right. Now we can creep up a bit. The last progression of it um, was what we tried to get to in the next phase, which one of the wingers or the forward could now drop into the space that was vacated. We went full width. We had kind of five zones, a, a, a deep zone, which was 3v2, a middle zone, which is where now our wing backs and our two midfielders are sitting, and then a, a high zone, which is where we wanted our three forwards to start, to start high, to create that space in between the midfield line and, and them. So now when these three play, again, they keep the ball, make it as big as possible so that they can find an option to dribble forward. Go tight, go tight, Luke, go tight, Luke. Tuck in now, good. Severin! Severin! Open. Just keep it. Just relax. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. Come on. Pass it. Just pass. Two touch. Two touch. Two touch. Get them moving. Now 
Now, Coloco, you split this way. Coloco, come into this pocket. Keep coming, Coloco. Keep coming, Coloco. Sub run. Look at sub run. Good. Good job, Coloco. Oh, and then the end, we, we ended with 11 v 11. And now can they, with no restrictions and no zones, so now can they perform and, and think about those situations in a game situation?